feature story tonight. An Australian inventors have brought some amazing technology to global medicine. But one unlikely hero is the brain behind a tool opening the doors for people locked in their own bodies. So could you just fire a hello to test this? Hello, how are you? Outstanding. Very well, thank you. How are you? <laughs> and also, your accuracy on that is brilliant. You're nailing all the way through. Thank you, Peter. You're welcome, mate. Thank you. His mind still works fine, his hearing still works fine, his eyesight still works fine. He's still exactly the same person that he was. He's just locked inside his body. Glenn Sargwood has motor neurone disease, a cruel condition taking away his life one muscle at a time, leaving his mind completely intact. Glenn is controlling his computer, talking by simply raising his eyebrow. Can you launch uh, Safari? Go online. Loading Safari Internet Browser. Outstanding. I am still the same person I was prior to m and I am now just locked inside my body. I married a bloke who's very charming, very witty, very cheeky. Mm. <laughs> he's, you know, always very, very active. Glenn would come home from work and Tom would almost greet him at the car door with a football <laughs> in his hands. Pretty active. Yeah, like, very active. Like fun and active. Fun and active. Come home from work every day, and we go out and play like soccer or just pass the football around or jump on the trampoline. Or like do muck up wrestling and stuff like that. It's kind of something that dad's never going to get better from, but dad's fighting it, I know that. The way he deals with every day just amazes me. <laughs> He's um, very special and very <laughs> strong and amazing. <laughs> He's my world. Mm -hmm. He's pretty awesome. He used to be like an IT manager before he had MND. And now like he is using computers to talk, so that's kind of cool. Glenn's talking computer is the invention of Peter Ford, a former CNN anchorman and 2014 Senior Australian of the Year nominee. A closet computer nerd, Peter left his lucrative job to pursue his dream, giving communication back to the voiceless. Most people, even if they have uh, a fairly extensive quadriplegia, are able to send signals to some muscle in their body. And we can put sensors on those muscles and tap them like an old-fashioned phone tap and pick up that signal. We then get the Neuroswitch software to analyse that signal very quickly, 20 times, 40 times a second and turn that into a control that lets you choose letters on the screen. Inspired by early success, it took Peter years of hard graft and willing patience to perfect his software. You did it! You did it! You did it! High five! It was a long and arduous journey, a far cry from the glamour of television. I never regretted leaving television. I never regretted making that choice. It was a mission that I just couldn't walk away from. It's not just that verbal face-to-face -face communication, it's all those other aspects of communication. He can go into iTunes and download music, download TV shows, download movies. And speak to the most important people in his life, his three kids. What do you think about that? Awesome. Oh, that's cool. It's really important to like talk to Dad because if he didn't like have the neuro switch, then he probably like couldn't talk to it. Communicating with my kids means more than words. I was locked out from so many things I had previously taken for granted. This has given me back independence and freedom. And from anywhere on the planet, Peter can log in to Glenn's computer and add more applications, more tools to connect him with the world. I also want to start putting together um, longer set phrases for you so that you can launch those with just one button at a time. When I started the company, I made a, a promise to myself that if somebody asked for help anywhere on the planet, I would go there. And we've been to some pretty remote places at the farthest ends of the planet to do this. Glenn and his family share some time where words are not important. We've taken a positive approach and decided that, you know, we are going to make the most of every single day and, and our time together because we just don't know when we won't be able to do that anymore. m and is a very debilitating disease, but I have made a choice to rule m and and not let m and rule me. And thanks to Peter Ford and his neuro switch, Glenn can do exactly that. I'm good. I'm going to touch.
Great family there. But uh, yeah. I've got to say, Peter Ford, I, I was with Peter Ford 20 years ago, dodging tear gas and, 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 and concussion grenades in rioting in French Polynesia when the French resumed nuclear testing. We were covering that story together. And it was plain then he had interest way outside what he was doing, exciting as it, as it was as a reporting task. And I've got to say, Peter, oh. haven't seen you in, you've seen me in many years. But that is an inspiring, sensational story. So good on you. Do you know what? It's just about the least of it too, because he's also developed software that allows disabled people to control like robots and things as far away as other countries. So you yeah. could imagine that you could work. You could sit in your room, immobile, but control a robot in a manufacturing plant or something somewhere else in the world. Yeah. Like the, the stuff he's working on is yeah. unbelievable. It's completely mind-blowing. He deserves every accolade and award that's Absolutely. coming his way. Absolutely. So many incredible people in that package. Yeah. To everyone in that package. Thank you. It was, yeah, yeah incredible. Got to go to a break. See you soon.